Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to use tree view with your C sharp application. So let's get started. First of all, I will take a button and I will drag and drop this tree view or sorry, not this, but this tree view in my form. I will resize it and I will give the text to the button as this button and text is add nodes okay and uh, I will just double click this button and I will just write the name of my tree view name dot nodes dot add and in the bracket I will write the name of my nodes so for example I want to give the name as books so this is the first node of my tree in the same way I can add more nodes for example papers and folders and now when I run the program and when I click this add node it will add three nodes book paper and folder to my tree view now for example I want to add the sub node to my tree array or tree view so this nodes uh, work like an array so this is the zeroth array this is first and this is second so what I will do is I will give the name of my tree view dot nodes and I will give this square bracket and in this I will pass the array number so for example I want to generate sub node for this book node so I will write zero here because it's the zeroth array dot nodes once again dot add and bracket and bracket closed and in here I will write book one and in this way I can add more sub nodes and for example I also want to give the sub node for this papers also so in the same way I will just copy this paste it here and change the array number and change this here also paper 1 papers 2 paper 3 okay so now I'll run the program and when I click this add note it has created the nodes and also the sub nodes here okay now if you want to remove your node what can you do I will take a button here and I will change its text as remove nodes and now I will double click this button and in here I will just copy the name of my tree view dot selected node dot remove so it will remove the selected node from my tree view so let's see it adds the node and for example I want to remove this paper 3 so I select it and I will click remove now for example I want to remove this book and remove okay so in this way you can remove the selected item also now for example if you want to clear all the nodes from the tree view you want to uh, remove all the node at one go how can you do that just write 
node preview nodes dot clear and when you run the program add node and when you click this it will remove all the nodes yes it removes right now for example you want to add uh, the checkbox to your tree view so just select your tree view go to the properties here and search for this checkbox and make it true from here okay and then when you run the program it will when I add these nodes it will add the checkbox to your nodes okay now for example I want to remove the selected nodes so whatever checkbox I select and when I click this it should remove the uh, nodes from the tree view so how can I do that once again I will go to my method here and below this uh, method or the function I will create a new function here so first I will declare a list list of three nodes and I will name it as checked node is equal to new list tree node so this is the declaration of list I'm declaring a list of tree nodes okay then I will make a function in here I will write this so this is a function and I will close this function first of all so I will I have declared void removed remove checked nodes so this is the function name and I'm passing the tree node collection so whatever the tree nodes are there I'm passing that here okay and inside this function I will add a for each loop so like this right for each tree node give it a name in nodes and bracket closed for for loop and inside this for loop what I will do is I will give a condition if node is checked so write if and in the argument give node which is this variable dot checked so if it is node is checked then what we are doing is checked node which is this list it will add this node to the list okay so this variable this list variable paste it here dot add and inside this write node which is this variable else what we will do is here we will provide the else condition so so we passed in the else condition else we are calling this method once again which we have declared here else node which is this variable dot nodes okay so what it will do is if the checkbox is checked then it will add to this list and otherwise it checks check for the sub nodes and it will once again call this method remove if any sub nodes are present in the in the tree view okay and now after this else if condition I will go outside this for loop and I will declare one more for each loop like this so write for each and inside this uh, bracket first of all I will close it so for each tree node checked node which is the declaration for this tree node in check nodes which is this check nodes and inside this for each loop I will write nodes which is this 
nodes variable which we are passing dot remove and inside this bracket give this variable so I have declared this function for removing the checked item from my tree view right now what I will do is when we made uh, this function we need to call it in order to remove the nodes so what I will do is I will just copy this uh, remove function name and inst instead of this clear method which I was using to clear all the nodes I will write this function name and inside this function I will pass the name of my tree view which is tree view one dot nodes okay so now when I run my program I can add the nodes and sub nodes by this button and for example I check this box and I want to remove this uh, papers and when I click this it is removed right for example I want to check or remove these two they are removed I want to remove all all the node it is removed okay so in this way you can remove the nodes or some node by using checkboxes so I th hope you have learned something new this time and Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.